Met Aaron says cloud is likely to cover much of the country during the partial solar eclipse tomorrow morning. The event, which happens around once in a quarter century, will see over 90% of the sun's surface blocked out by the moon. They're slightly spooky and caused fear in ancient civilizations, but solar eclipses are also extraordinary astronomical phenomena we rarely get to enjoy. Although they happen once or twice every year somewhere on the planet, the last eclipse visible here was in 1999, with the next one not due until 2026. They occur when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, casting a varying shadow on the Earth's surface in certain places. So tomorrow there will be a total eclipse along a strip from the Arctic down over northern Norway and the Faroe Islands and across the North Atlantic. Here in Ireland, we'll be in a zone where at least 90% of the sun will be covered, causing a partial but near total eclipse. The phenomenon begins around 8.30 a.m. and lasts for two hours, with a peak between 9.22 in the south and 9.31 further north. All parts of the country will experience the effects as it should feel slightly darker and colder than normal. The best vantage points will in theory be the northwest around Mayo and Donegal, but all that is of course contingent on weather conditions, which are forecast to be well mixed. Well, I'm afraid it doesn't look as sunny as today. Beautiful clear skies across Ireland, but you can see how the cloud has already been pushing in here from the Atlantic and there's lots more out here and we're into this uh, cloudy situation for tomorrow, I'm afraid. Looking at the sun with the naked eye, telescopes, binoculars or makeshift filters is extremely dangerous and can cause blindness. There are safer options. Simplest way is just a piece of card with a hole punched in it and pick up the light on a piece of white paper behind it. You'll get a nice disc of the sun as we have here. That's completely safe. In an ideal world, if you have a pair of eclipse glasses, as we'll have at our National Eclipse Watch, uh, these give a superb view of the sun, very safe, they block out all the dangerous light. And the ultimate way is to project an image with a telescope, but you need to know what you're doing. A list of public viewing events around the country is available on the RTE News website. So no matter what the weather, you won't be in the dark about Eclipse 2015. Will Goodbody, RTE News.